We'll be using Dermagel today from Douglas and Sturges. Here it is. You can order it online and they'll send it to you. It's, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something. It's, it's a powder form. We fluff it up and measure it out to one cup Dermagel to 1.5 cups water. And I've just collected some doodads today to use to put in the Dermagel. These are the containers we'll use to hold the Dermagel in plastic. Uh, we're going to try a leaf and a rose and this piece of wood. Hi there. Uh, this is our mixing bowl. And these are our mixing utensils, the whisk, the traditional implement. And the painting stir stick that you attach to a drill and make it go whir. And this is really the quintessential fork for whisking. We pour the Dermagel in one cup. And because I measured this water incorrectly, I'll pour in two cups here. And I notice it's really thin for me. So I want to add a little extra to that, I think, because it's going to be really thin. And thin's not bad, but it just takes longer to gel. Gel time's about four minutes. And then you pour into your containers. It's good to have this planned out ahead of time that you're going to pour into. And there we go. Scrape it out like cake. It's a little bit like cake batter gooey, it's on your hands, it's not toxic, so you can get it on your hands. I would have waited a little bit longer to put that bark in there because it's so heavy in it. I think it sank right to the bottom. The rose, I dipped it in, made sure it got in the holes, and here's that rose hip. Put that all the way in. And one of these little doodads from the walnut tree. We'll try a leaf. So you get some different textures, something thin, something thick and heavy, and something light. We'll get to see how those come out. Oh. They're dry. It's been about four minutes, and we can just test for firmness. Kind of like Jello, you know. It feels like when it's done, and you peel it off. Uh, look, got that. There's that air bubble. And if you're stuck, if something gets stuck in, all you have to do is kind of scrape it out. I often use a knife to scrape out that stuff. It's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we'll take out the rose and see, we really got that delicate pattern in there, but some of it got stuck, so you can pull that out as well. It's not hard to pull out. Mmm, smells good. And here's the big kahuna. I put my fingers in here as well at the, the end after I placed everything because this was so thin I had time to stick my fingers in there, and we'll see this in the final cast at the end. And these little doodads, they did pretty well. You know, they held up. They created a pattern. I think, Robin, you could create a pattern with some of your knitting, but I'd want you to cover it with some kind of gel or shellac. We use hair gel on people's hair. But as you can see, if it's really deep undercuts, it'll get stuck and you won't get the detail. I should have probably sealed that piece of wood. Oh, now we're ready to cast. And this is my wax, that microcrystalline wax. You could use crayons, you could use candles. You just turn that on. And then I put parchment paper underneath when it's all melted. You can see it's melted in here. And uh, the parchment paper is really good because when the wax sticks to it, it just peels off. And then I just ladle it in to my molds. The caveat about using the kitchen is any of these utensils you use, you do not want to use for food again. So go to Goodwill or something or, you know, use something you don't want to eat off of again. As you can see, I didn't put any parchment paper on this, on my piece of glass here, so I'm going to have to scrape that glass drip off that I got on there. Oh, we're all done. Look. Get it out of here. I used a knife to kind of go around the edges first to make it a little bit easier to take out. There's the German gel and one, two, three. Oh, the rose. There it is. Looks pretty good. It's hard to see. The microcrystalline is really light. If there was a color to it, you'd see. So you guys would make these things, these individual objects, um, and send them back to me, and I'll put them together, and I'll make a rubber mold to make a final sculpture. You'll, your Dermagel, if you buy that Dermagel 
box. It's about four cups of Dermagel, so you can get quite a bit. This was just one cup of Dermagel that I used here. We got quite a bit. You can see the Dermagel was, is flexible. That's what it's, it's like once it's firmed up. And this one came out pretty good. You can see how the, the wood sank to the bottom. But it's still got some detail in there. You can see the fingers. Where are those fingers? Oh, there they are. There's the fingers right there. Finger. Finger. It kind of looks like a penis, doesn't it, that block? <laughs> oh, but we'll see. You never know. 